All right, very good. Thank you. And with the, you know, like the beauty of what we're doing with Nova Sutras, um, something that's really special about Nova Sutras is that it 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 is also really for people. It's 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 meant to be a spiritually nourishing place for people who are doing the work of unifying us as human beings, and um, and the work of bringing us, you know, humanity into right relationship with the earth itself. And something that's special about this group and actually special about all of the people who have shown up to these daily discussions so far is that we've, we're all people who have spent a significant part of our life energy figuring out how to do those things already. So we are, um, we, we're very much like, you know, I'm thinking of like, we're the core of Nova Sutras. And we're the, like, we are core people. And when I say Nova Sutras, I'm talking about these principles, you know, Agaya and Ubuntu. And we get it. Like, we already cared about that before Nova Sutras even, you know, came into existence. Like, we, like, we live and embody that kind of awareness and we are all looking for ways and strategies and trying to figure out how to advance these principles in the world. So one of the things that I'm thinking about right now is how do we, how do we keep these daily discussions going? How do we, and how do we like help them grow? How do we help this kind of like awareness and consciousness in the world grow? And one of the things that Michelle didn't mention, but that I've also tried to be some support with is just what an, um, like, like physical and emotional toll it is to run an organization and try to create an organization. It's crazy. It's a crazy thing to do. Um, Michelle, exhibit A, is <laughs> a little bit crazy. <laughs> But in the best possible way, she's taken on something that's like, like nearly impossible and tried to do it. And, um, and something that ha is also true is that like even just putting on daily discussions for like the 12 or 18 of us that have been part of them is, is um, we're recording. So I'll use different language than I might have. Um, but it's, uh, it, I'm going to say it's an extraordinary amount of work. It's a lot. Um, so one of the things that's tr like true right now is that um, each logistical t step takes a lot of thinking through and takes a lot of like, like effort and time to do. Um, so this is what Michelle and I got to thinking yesterday. Each one of us is sort of a like a beacon for a guy and Ubuntu in the world. We care about it. We've made our social connections around like this caring. We um, it matters to us in a profound way. Um, I think that so we have a bunch of really practical like logistical needs to set up these daily discussions and keep them going what would I think, this is an idea, a proposition open to discussion, may be um, really helpful and generative for all of us in order to keep this going and help it grow, is that we actually um, ask people in our lives who are looking for opportunities to like be part of the solution, if they would help put on these daily discussions. Because we want to be part of these daily discussions and we want to be in the core and we want to be helping to lead these daily discussions. Um, you know, we, there are a lot of topics within this sort of brain trust of this community that we can cover and that we can cover really well. Mm -hmm. You know, we, but we are going to need help um, setting up the events on Eventbrite and Facebook, if we're reusing that in order to reach a larger audience. 
and we're going to need help hosting the actual events to WordPress. And um, we're going to need help sending out the emails. And, um, and we're going to need somebody to, um, to host the Zoom call and actually the mute and unpeople, mute, uh, mute and unmute people and things like that as somebody is actually leading the presentation or like leading the discussion itself, you know, so that they can just focus on being holding the container for the conversation that's happening and they're not worrying about the, you know, like they, they don't have to be fully trained and, you know, like what buttons to click to make the whole thing go. Um, as we have, you know, five people and then 10 people and then 25 people and then who knows how many. Um, so I guess the, the thing that, the idea that I, that we've discussed that um, I want to bring kind of like into our group discussion is um, who do we know that like, yeah, who, who might we invite to be part of this and help put on these daily discussions? Um, and if, and then on the hind, like on the tail side of that, if we have people, we'll get them trained. Um, Michelle and I, will get people trained to do the various things that need to be done to make these daily discussions happen. And then we can focus more on growing it and reaching more people. We can do more things. So yeah, that's, that's sort of the thought that, and like the start of this. And then I just wanna turn it over to us to have a conversation about it. Um, so I've said my piece, thank you. And I look forward to what we all have to think about this. I liked what you said right at the start, um, and I think you said something about, um, you know, concern with um, establishing less violent relations with the earth, with this establishing, um, well, anyhow, what, I sound like Joe Biden. Well, <laughs> that was that thing. I did that you know, too. Thing. Yeah. Um, but one thing I often think is that we kind of all know about those values in Nova Sutras, but that to me, I'm not sure that Nova Sutras itself sort of makes it clear. Um, Michelle and I have talked about maybe having a dedicated Nova Sutras page um, for young climate activists mm. that kind of, you know, mm. says expressly that it's a, uh, I don't know, that, that it's inviting the people who maybe only know the word spiritual uh, from adults they regard as sort of a wall, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, missing in action. Uh, from the climate crisis and, and may not be attracted to that, who may find uh, the name Nova Sutras, you know, kind of obscure. And if they have a parent who meditates and isn't an activist, you know, I just, I, I talk to a lot of these people um, and I would like them to feel at home here mm. uh, because I see the need. I see how depressed they get. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and the kinds of conversations that we have because they kind of get to the heart uh, of, of our crisis. Um, I think they kind of unite our human experience with the crisis. They help make it meaningful. Um, I think that would be a really big help. Um, so, Okay. Yeah. That idea is essentially the need is let's make Nova Sutra's principles more clear. And especially by having some sort of um, a web page or a, um, a really clear appeal that's available to activists, especially young activists, that really breaks things down into simple term, like relatable terms, I want to say. Um, so that they can really understand where we're coming from in like a non-jargony, non-dogmatic way about like the 
goals that we're working to achieve and how, and kind of making the case for how we think bringing some um, like spiritually refreshing practice to it can actually help like advance um, the goals themselves. Is that right? Yes. Yes, that is right. Um, okay. I think yeah. we've, we've also talked a little bit about maybe more sort of explicit acknowledgement of indigenous, um, you know, ancestral ecological knowledge as important, more sort of explicit. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we just need testimonials. I thought about that too, but I feel like what I know is on the inside about Nova Sutras is so wonderful that I just want it to be on display. And I feel like Michelle is very modest. So she, she, she's, I think she's made it open to other people to sort of, you know, participate and define what it is that they're there to do. But, but I think we can offer a little bit more of her perspective. Uh, which is wonderful, has changed my life. Cool, that's awesome, Paul. And Paul, could, could is are there people in your world who you think are eager to, you know, just like advance a guy in Ubuntu, the you know the underlying principles, and who would be like, yep, looking for a way to do that. Yep, I know how to use WordPress. Yep, that sounds good. Let's get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, because we're like this week, we're like ready to train people, you know? Okay. Um, and, and really, we, I don't think we can, like, there's so much that we want to do with, like, the daily discussions are, pres like, this group is so, like, has so much energy around this, and we're like, let's do more of this. This is <laughs> awesome. Um, and then, um, and then, Michelle, I, I just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something like a little bit vulnerable, but I will get on a call with Michelle to talk about ideas and she's on the edge of tears because, because there's so much work to do to even keep the discussions as we're currently doing them going. And so what I'm saying as someone that cares about the functioning of the organization and the way that all the pieces connect together and the flows of information and responsibilities and, and like the way that we include people, that's, that's where my experience is in organizations. And I'm saying, let's get, uh, let's get more people involved let's hold this thing together and have more of an interconnected web of people with shared knowledge and responsibilities um, that, that care about different aspects of this so that we can do this together. And then we can, we can discuss ideas and it doesn't, it doesn't, it, and then it, cause we have to get Michelle out of a place of overwhelm. She's holding this like beautiful nucleus of, um, you know, of like, you know, all this possibility. Um, and I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna take some of the responsibilities and the things that need to happen off of her plate so that she can get back into an, like an expansive place of like, oh, those things are being taken care of. Now I can just like love and nurture and tend to the people that are working on those things. And I can begin to think about how we are going to accomplish these next order of things. Is there a document that spells out what you would like help with? We have done some work around that. Michelle can respond to this too, but I think I, yeah. Michelle, do you want to respond to that or do you want me to well, share? Stuff so, so there is the, the uplifters page and, and other pages that are sort of how you can help. Um, but I don't know how to get people there. And I don't know that they're necessarily saying the right things to get people there. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Derek, I think I hear you talking, see you talking, but I don't hear you. Maybe he's. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep this focused on me, but clearly this is about Michelle and, and her relationship with all of us. Um, and so I'm not trying to speak for her. Um, I've had a little, uh, actually, I've had a lot of concern that I'm stepping in and taking too much away from her because this is her organization. And so, you know, I think it would help to have some clarity about um, exactly what her vision is for Nova Sutras and how that all fits in. Uh, how our stepping up and taking over certain aspects of this fit into, you know, this is her baby and I don't want to, I don't want to take too much away and, and then have some, some issues or resentment or something like that along the ways. So, you know, I've wanted to, like when Paul's talking just a few minutes ago, could we, I'd be willing to host and, and uh, facilitate a conversation that happens at, you know, maybe 4 a.m. our time, because that's a good time for the people in Africa to get together. And it's a weekly thing. And they, they have, they start to have a support group and we start to build this kind of um, container for them to realize they are not alone. I think that'd be very useful. And I'd be willing to step up and do that. But, you know, at a certain point, and, and my, dream all along here has been that we might have a core group and we get together and support each other but then everybody in this group goes off and does their own conversations with their own communities their own networks and so this is not the end all be all of the conversation i want this to be a training to be a starting point to be uh support a support group for us doing the work out in the field and so, yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. And, but I just, I just wanted to jump in right at that point and say, I, I hold a lot of respect for Michelle and what she's done. And I don't want to have any kind of issues down the road with, wow, well, you, you've kind of taken this over and it's not my thing anymore. Um, I just want to reflect back what I heard you say, Derek. Um, and I am taking notes too, because I'm like, oh, we're going to use all of this really valuable feedback. So Derek, my understanding of what you're saying is that you'd, you'd like to hear more about Michelle's vision for Nova Sutras. I think that's important. I think this yeah. is her organization, her movement at the beginning. And I just don't want to, yeah, I want to hear more about what she wants and, and ensure she knows I'm more than willing to hear from her. That's that's not your your right to do that or I'd rather you didn't do that or you know whatever it happens to be I'm open to all kinds of feedback and again don't want to get into an issue where uh, there's any kind of oh my god I'm losing control here and I don't feel comfortable or that kind of a thing yeah and I, I also just get what you're saying in that when you hear what Michelle's vision is you can just see that better for yourself mm -hmm. too it's like then you two are having a conversation that's really above board. And it's not like, oh, Michelle has an idea, but I don't really know what it is, blah, 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 blah. No, like the more that we talk about like the vision of Nova Sutras itself, mm -hmm. the more that it's easy to have like a really above board conversation about what that is, where we're going and how we can like both like, you know, tweak things in order to better support that. And then you can have, so you can question things about it. You can like advocate for things that are within it. Um, you can emphasize things within it. It just makes it a much easier to have a conversation about it. So I really get what you're saying. Thanks, yeah. Derek. Yeah, thank you. I, I absolutely, I hear that and I appreciate it so, so much. Um, uh, I, yeah, I just, I feel like I've been running so fast just trying to to make this happen at this level. Um, and you know, for me to to sort of go back and say what the vision is, it's like I have to look three years back in the past and really look at well, what was I, what were the outlines, what did I want to say, how um, how do I, how do I envision this working and growing? And uh, honestly, I haven't had time to step back into that role in a very long time. Mm -hmm. It's like, I got the, 
got the idea, got out as much as I could, and then I just, um, Well, and I want to support you. And there's a lot more that I want to work on, and I just I don't know when I'm going to have time to even think about it. So um, that document would be so helpful because your my heart is now um, very engaged with relieving this burden, uh, but I need to know what the burden is. Like, what are the things yeah. that are yeah. taking up so much of your time? And, how yeah. can we distribute them so that they don't? And, um, yeah. I'm so in, into right. this. I really want to free you uh, to bring your brilliant selves uh, to this in a way that is not, you know, doing logistical work all the time. It's, it's not an appropriate use of someone with your gifts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, what you're calling for is really clearly spelled out things that people can do to support right yeah where the need is most urgent what can we take off your plate okay got it um okay so one thing that is easy to say right now is we have some of that spelled out already um from conversations that Michelle and I had one that we had yesterday and one that we had on March 31st. Um, it's not like put in, it's just our notes. It's not put in, it's a, it's a Google document with just with our notes, the literally from that day's notes. Um, and I could screen share like a section of that. I could just say right now a section of that. Um, but we will, in order to really bring people in also needed to have, need to have like a really nicely laid out uh, thing. So like I could show you the, the quick notes today. Um, and then we could, we can do, yeah, we can do more to actually just like put it into its own document that's shareable, um, also. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm thinking that we should probably have a little bit more, just that there might be a little bit more in this discussion around this question before I jump into that, because if I was to screen share that, it would change really the orientation of what we're doing right now. Right. So just know that I've got that. And when it's the right moment or feels like the right moment in this conversation, we can take mm -hmm. a look at that. Yeah. Let's please stay at the high level for just a little bit longer. Totally. I agree. Thanks, Derek. And I also want to say, you know, I wasn't meaning to put Michelle on the spot and, and make you speak directly to the question. Um, I just wanted to presence that, that I have a deep concern about that. And, and so at some point we may have to have like a, a brainstorming session or something. Yeah. Where do we take this? How do we do this? Uh, yeah. So yeah. maybe we take some ideas out of this and then address those ideas specifically uh, at a later date. So I'm thinking one of the things that's like coming to my mind right now is who I would invite from my life that cares a ton about this, about a guy and Ubuntu. They might not know those terms, but they care about those concepts. And, and they're looking for ways to actually make a difference and supporting the daily discussions would be like such a doable way for them to um to support and you know these are people who i'm thinking like this is probably going to be someone who uses facebook and you know they've they update you know the blog for their job and um they you know, write descriptions on events whenever they're hosting them for their own things. Um, and, you know, they use Zoom for, you know, to meet with friends on the weekend um, or for their poetry club, you know, they're on Zoom just, you know, on like I am on Wednesday nights, you know. Um, 
actually the poetry club I'm part of on Wednesday nights might be a very good place to recruit people to support this. I think I could actually show up this coming Wednesday night and say a quick word about what Nova Sutra is, is doing with these daily discussions and ask if there's anyone that wants to support that kind of, that wants to support it. And I might, I might find a person or two or 10 there. So that's my idea. And, and for me, that brings up what I was intending to bring up later, but I think this is a good, a good point to bring this up. And that is, um, we are still uh, deeply embedded in the old economy. And I think we should start making uh, a part of every call, at least a 10 second uh, request for funding. And so asking everybody who participates, hey, you know, this was free. We don't have, we have no problem with that. Happy to have everybody join and, and participate with no cost. But if you're getting some value out of this, just like in the gift ecology that I always talk about now is, you know, then be generous, you know, help support this work because there are costs involved. You know, when we're trying to work out, can we add more hosts so that people can create breakout rooms? Well, there's a cost to that. And so, you know, how do we support the organization with the wherewithal to do the kind of things we, we want to do? So I think we should start adding some kind of pitch for, you know, if you like our work, please support us, go to the website, and there's a way you can do that. And just make that a regular part of every call. Mm -hmm. There's a slide deck that we created for these daily discussions. And it has that built into it, but I don't think we've been using the slide. Oh, excuse me. So yeah. Um, it's like, it's on, it's one of the last slides. Mm -hmm. What if, maybe we could start using that. We uh, could. Um, it just, it hasn't, hasn't felt like it comes in very organically. And I don't want to, I, you know, one of my concerns as a facilitator is, um, and I and I noticed it after we sort of got into this call. It's like, oh, I missed steps that I wanted to do to create a better container because um, I'm just too scattered and can't remember everything. And um, and by the end of these calls, I've I've got nothing left, and I'm not. Mm -hmm thinking clearly enough to come back to that and make that happen. Um, just, I... Uh, yeah, and please don't feel like we consider that a failing. We don't. We, we, <laughs> I do a lot of the facilitation and I completely understand, boy, it takes so much focus and energy and um, to, to support the container and, and hold the space. And, and I completely get that. I'm, and as Michelle has talked to me about, you know, I miss points too at the end, you know, I haven't done a good job of closing on some of my calls. I would suggest if we're going to ask for funds, that we ask for help on specific tasks. Task as well. Um, and that I would suggest we do it at the end. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Totally. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and that was and that was the intention, and it just it I can't remember to do it. Um. So one of the things that like, sorry, no, go ahead. Something that um, that has occurred. Well, something I've like thought of when I think about like, okay, Michelle has created the container with Nova Sutras and then and the and set out these principles and brought us in. Um, but like in a in a beautiful Nova Sutras world with the daily discussions, like she wouldn't have to do anything for them to be happening every day. Right. She can go she can be thinking about other things. Mm -hmm. And the what what I'm imagine like what I can like picture is uh, we've got somebody that's going to be pre like presenting on a topic, and we have somebody who's going to be hosting, and either the presenter or the host actually 
like uses, it's only like four slides, I think. Uh, it's like a welcome slide and yeah. like a, these are our agreements There's... slide and like, all right, we're done now. This is how you can support a slide. Maybe it's more than that. I think we decided, I think Michelle and I looked at it and we were like, oh, that last slide has too many things packed into one slide. We should probably right. break it in three. Um, mm -hmm. And we discussed that, but I haven't seen it. I, have, I don't know if we've actually, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. But we did do the work of it together. Yeah, here I can. Um, do we want to look at it right now? I, I brought that back up. For, I'd like um, to share this, this thought that I have and then I'd love sure. to look at it. Okay. Um, and so what I can, what I can like really envision is that we've got someone who's a host, who's kind of thinking of the technical side. We've got someone who is a facilitator who's actually present, like asking the, who's leading the discussion. Um, and either the host or the facilitator, um, goes through the slides, uh, like, and, and, and the slides are not showing most of the time. The slides are showing like in a, if, if a discussion is an hour and a half long, the slides are up for like two or three minutes. Yeah. Kind of thing. It's just a welcome and a closing for the most part. And there's just a couple of slides during the welcome and maybe a few during the closing. And, um, and then we have like kind of like a, and then there's like a structure to it, you know? And you sort of like expect like, okay, you arrive and, and, like, and like these are the principles that we're centering in. That's the what like in and we're we're, walk, we're we're like we're all going to center in this one in this come from this place, and then at the end, this is what we're doing. This is how you can help, and thank you. And I can picture, I can really see all of those steps actually happening um, without, yeah, without it without it all needing to be Michelle leading all of those those pieces. They really are. They are modular. They are individual steps, and they really are the kinds of steps that can be done on repeat and can be done by different people. And some of them can be done by us as facilitators in a core group. And some of them can be done by people who are, um, who are just like, yeah, who are like, they care about what we're doing in these daily discussions, and they just want to do one thing to help make it happen. So I think it would be very good to have a Zoom meeting. It doesn't have to be now or even this group, but to have a Zoom meeting that is about our sort of positive experiences with Nova Sutra is sort of, you know, I mean, uh, I could talk a bit about how transforming it has been for me. Um, you know, how I can't imagine actually sustaining um, the amount of work I'm trying to do uh, without it. Um, and how it sort of takes me back uh, to the source, you know, um, of my activism. So, um, you know, I think if we, we've had incredible conversations, Michelle and I and Christine and Bob, uh, have been meeting as a work group before COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And we take turns sort of offering what we're doing uh, to the group. And Michelle's talked about Nova Sutras and we've offered feedback and I get so excited. Um, I, I think I could be a good evangelist for it. Yeah, and you know, I think having a session talking about like the value and how the like the principles and you know and us as a group actually support us is like oh such a good idea i love it it sounds really good to me and i i would be way into that i'm like oh maybe one of the topics this coming week okay yeah yeah um yeah that would be that would be really valuable and really powerful i think to to start to articulate um, what what Nova Sutras is already doing and and meaning for the people who've connected with it and um, and how that can grow, how that can can be um, more present and more valuable for more people. Um, 
I, I just, you know, my brain is not together, but um, one thing that, <laughs> that I'm, I'm noticing and I, I wanted to task the group with, and this is a just total aside off on a tangent somewhere, but I, I want to make sure I say it is um, uh, checking in with folks who we haven't heard from in a while. Like I have not heard a word from Christine in a long time. Uh, Carol had been on all of these calls and then hasn't been on the last few and I'm not sure what's going on with her, if it's just been timing, I don't know. And it's starting to fill me with anxiety. Um, so, uh, you know, just a, another request out there to sort of uh, check up on people that we haven't heard from in a while and, and try and make sure that they're okay or find out if they need anything from anybody. Um, I'll do Christine after this meeting. Great, thank you. And then, yeah, and then report back, of course. <laughs> so, so just to, to have that, that space there. Um, yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Um, so, Bob and, Bob and Peter, I'm just curious what you're thinking right now. Yeah, I just unmuted myself right before you said that. It's like, this is great. This is juicy. This is this is the heart of it that's been shining out so much <clears throat> that we get to kind of open up and and see right what's what's behind the curtain. And um, so I've been honored and and really enjoying just hearing you guys move through the energies of the of the founding and the the birthing of this and and as it's now taking its next swirl in the right the next swirl of the spiral and mm -hmm. and now it's been grounded and it's showing that it works and and is great for people and now what is this next bigger vision but also daily vision and and how do we what do we need what do what are we looking for and and so it's it's beautiful for me yeah i i feel like i'm 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 way under your guys' pay grade, frankly. I don't have any organizational skills. I Seriously, you have to hear me out because this is a true thing. I sometimes think that maybe I have to look more at trying to deal with things in a personal manner about myself before I can really be helpful to you. I feel like I'm just a log, lump on a log here a lot. I know. <laughs> well, you, guys, you guys are all looking oh, skyward. You're all like, looking skyward, but it doesn't help me. I mean, I, I, okay, that sounds nice and stuff, but it's uh, you know, that's, Bob. We hear I, you. We love you. We don't entirely believe you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I do. That's the problem, I guess. Oh, sorry, so that's Bob, part of what I'm talking about. I, I suppose. I actually don't that know what you're referring. To. I don't what know what I'm you're talking, talking about. about, Bob. What do you? What are you? What are you referring to? What? 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 Is, like concretely? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Well. Uh, I, I made a joke about, you know, I, I try to see which of my friends would join the group. And I think the ones that come to mind are all dead, but uh, that wasn't that much of a joke, really. Um, otherwise, it goes to Facebook, it goes to uh, relatives. And I, I have a couple of people in mind, but I, uh, if I'm struggling with it, it's a little, I'm not sure what I tell them about. I mean, I think people will kind of discover, come in and discover for themselves what, what they want to do. I'm thinking of Athena. Paul, you know Athena. My, my niece, she's uh, wonderful. She's brilliant. She loves animals. She's been working mm -hmm. with them. Uh, and uh, I th my two cousins, uh, Deborah and Half Moon Bay and uh, Susan up somewhere around Nevada. Very, uh, very wonderful people. I, I don't honestly know that that would, you know, uh, I guess the only I can I can at least reach out and and try to talk to them about it. But even there, I feel a little. I feel a little inadequate to the task. Really, you guys are all everybody here, as far as I know, is Paul and Michelle. I know about and Lionel. I mean, I'll, you guys are busily, deeply engaged. It seems like every day, minute to minute. And I, uh, I think, I think sometimes Paul's so engaged that it's hard. It's it's not as easy for me to communicate sometimes uh, as it, it, it might be helpful to be. So I feel a little bit, um, I feel a little bit on the outside. That's all a little on the edge here about what am I contributing? I'm thinking if there's somebody else in this little space here, they would be 
digging right in right now, and I'm just kind of sitting here. Oh, so I, well. Well, I, I don't, you, you guys want people to come in and sit? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, Nova I'm Sutra not. sitters, yes. If they're, especially if they're like you, that's beautiful. Well, I, 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 I can't tell that. I mean, I can't. It's very sweet of people to say, but I can't. I don't yeah. get a fundamental nourishing feeling that I'm helping here some, that much, you know. Well, Bob, Bob in, in the other meetings, have you felt the same way? Because this is a different vibe of a meeting. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is a different, it's, and it's a, bit, a lot about nuts and bolts and the burdens that people are, are personally undertaking to, to make this thing happen. And I just, I just feel like, what am I, what am I giving it, mm. you know? And where, is, where are my areas of expertise to help? That's one thing I, I always do feel, and you know this from the within reach group, I, I have this same feeling that I'm just, I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to chip in here. So. Yeah. Bob is modest. To a fault. Well, okay, I've heard that a zillion times. I mean, Again, I not helpful. Not helpful. We meet with <laughs> means him nothing to me. Basis. The old yeah. joke. He has oh. a great deal to be modest about. You know, I think. <laughs> you know, I've, I've, I've got, I've got, I got, I got a few like, like, like totally non-joking things to say here. Um, one, Bob, you listen carefully, and you are so present, hmm. and it it adds to the cohesion of the group every single time that you're here. And even now today, just the way that you've been listening, um, just I, I feel you right here with us. And, um, and I feel supported, actually. Just like the way that you've shown up today in this, I feel supported, I feel heard, I feel understood. Um, I feel like I'm here for a reason. Um, so I just wanna know that when you show up, that happens for me. Well, thank and, you. And I, I do appreciate it. And, uh, I, and I, I want hoping. to come at that from a facilitator standpoint. So as a facilitator, I consider my primary job to be holding a safe container. And I need the help of other. I can't do this on my own. So just having someone who's helping to hold the container um, yeah. is so helpful for the facilitator. So you don't have to say a word. Just to be there wow. and, and help hold space. Yeah. My container holding skills are a little mystical to me. I don't know. <laughs> really. But they're okay. but they're very felt by everyone. Okay. Well, who, yeah. who's and I will I will add that your silliness adds to the container as well, and that you're the the light way that you hold it because so many others are having to hold it in such a specific nuts and bolts way. It's such That's a specific nuts and bolts way, <laughs> and, and it's connected to feeling very deeply. And yeah, I just really exactly. have, um, you know, sometimes I think it, there might be a better, I feel like I'm resigning from the Hollywood squares now. Somebody else should be in the, <laughs> in the center square, for God's sake. So see, I'm, there you are right there. Yeah, adding right a beautiful now, little, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. see, there's, so, there's the nuts and bolts, but we need a little couple of loose screws mixed uh, in there, well, too. So. I've got those. There you I've go. See, those. there it is. Oh, you right. need nothing more than to bring the loose screws. An assortment screws. of loose screws for you. <laughs> that's what you really need. That's okay. great. I've got, I've got, I've got I've got one other um, I got one or two other really practical things to say in response to what you shared, Bob. Um, one is one is you're welcome to invite anyone that you want to just show up to the mm -hmm. daily discussions. Right. And the question around daily discussions is, who would enjoy this, or who might be find it curious? And, um, and actually people can show up to the daily discussions and they don't, we don't need everyone who shows up to the daily discussions. We don't need most of the people who show up to the, the daily discussions to have any skills to bring to putting it on. Well, yeah. Skills maybe isn't quite the word. Um, uh, I think a spirit as well yeah. as skills. I, I, yeah. I understand that. I'm just, yeah, totally. you know, I'm, I'm having a lot of issues with, uh, that this shouldn't be about this. It's like, okay, let's, let's focus on Bob here. But um, I'm just feeling a little like I need to, um, I've just started the uh, Feeding Your Dragon book that oh, I've been yeah. putting off for about a year or whatever it's been. I'm, I'm just retrograde and slow on getting to any of these things, which makes it, uh, I used to do a lot of things efficiently and quickly and fast and it was kind of all over, but that's years ago, years and years, seriously, years ago. And I just, I just have gotten completely out of any kind of habit of doing that at all. 
And uh, so I, I sometimes I feel like I just have to do some a little thinking about myself to uh, know why I'm where I am. You know, I think. And so that it's been bothering me quite a bit actually lately. So uh, mm, yeah, just so you're aware that's a, yeah. It's nice to be able to express, and you guys are wonderful to express these yeah. things too. Well, also, mm -hmm. I want to say that the points I'm sharing right now, they're actually not. I the reason I'm saying the things I'm saying right now, uh, I I'm glad it's it, that it feels good to express it. But I wasn't even making these points to make you feel better. I was make I'm actually making them because I think it directly contributes to what we're doing here with the daily discussions. Okay, that's a great. Yeah, and what I'm saying is that um, we don't. Yeah, like when you talked, when you mentioned your niece and your other family members, um, I think that the invitation for each one of us um, outside of this conversation is to think who actually might love hanging out in this mm -hmm. space and just like being part of these discussions. And um, let's invite them. And if you know any activists mm. <laughs> who freaking hey. care like they have a spot inside of them if you like you might just meet someone like really like you live in the the santa cruz region right yeah but we're not allowed to walk so. <laughs> okay yeah well anytime you talk to anyone mm. um which uh, it's true that the patterns of doing that have changed a lot yeah but this 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 is true for all of us right yeah Whenever I'm we're sure. talking to someone in our lives, right, that is an activist and they've got that, you know, you can, I mean, I think we've all, I think many of us have, we've all seen it before. There are people who are just like, I freaking care about this and I'm looking for a way to make it happen further faster. The daily discussions that Nova Sutras is hosting here really is an opportunity for people to plug in and and make a real difference and actually help do something that matters because and right now we're at this place where if we can get this stability of a core group of people who are contributing to putting on the daily discussions then we can continue focusing outward and growing it and we can bring in more people we can like for instance i know that if we customized all of the events and and they didn't just say daily discussion, but they were actually like a discussion on a particular topic, we would bring in more people. Mm. But right now doing that would, might double the amount of actual like time in terms of the number of tasks. And mm. Michelle can't do that. And mm. like collectively as a group, we can't do that right now, but we're so close. We so easily could do that. And if we get some support to put together the things that we're already putting together, then we can take that little jump and do that too. And it'll be easier to invite people into upcoming conversations. So yeah, so that, I think that's the kind of like difference that it, that it will make. Anyways, um, Bob, I really appreciated hearing all of your thoughts. It actually contributed a ton to the conversation. I'm so sorry you were helpful, um, but you know, sometimes you're just stuck with that. Yeah, well, I'm I'm trying to get over it, but <laughs> now I'm trying to think of who's an activist in my family. I'm sort of the outlier in my own family, Athena, and, and I don't. I wonder if people understand that. That's not everybody. I mean, I I oh. I, I know they're interested. <laughs> Engaged. Have I told you about my family? <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, but I'm trying to think of who I know on Facebook and stuff. And uh, there's comes comes to about four people total. So maybe I should just uh, ask all of them that we have this. That's group. great. You know what? Sometimes it's it's easier when you only know four people to ask yeah. them than yeah. it is yeah. when you know four thousand people and you're like, where yeah. do I? Start? Yeah. Well, yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really not a problem. Okay. <laughs> I would like to ask, um, Ali Meters Knight is the woman who is um, teaching traditional ecological knowledge to Paradise High School students yeah. and uh, has invited them with their parents' permission 
to participate in controlled burns in the forests surrounding Paradise, um, to take back the fire that traumatized them uh, so much um, and leveled their town and use it in the service of life. Um, I have wanted her story to get out uh, ever since I, I learned of it. Um, but I would like to invite her sort of with the understanding that we would afford her time to talk about what she's doing. Um, I'd like us to think about like, you know, if we do that and we record it, you know, then that's something that we can share as long as she's okay with it, um, with the <clears throat> world. And each example of someone sort of acting <laughs> on Nova Sutra's values in a tangible way that is unique, you know, I mean, Ali represents so much of the solution in one person. You know, she's she's incredible. So uh, I would love to do that. Yeah. Yeah, sounds great. Tell her I said hi too. I know her. I do a lot of stuff up in Chico. But what would that look like? Would that be like what, doing one of the daily discussions with her? Have her be the presenter. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That sounds great. And I'm sure we each have other people we could invite and start a list of who might we want to to have. And I think you're saying exactly. It's like our channel is now reaching out. So then Ali would send that, send out, hey, I'm going to be on Nova Sutras tomorrow, and then send the recording the day after. Hey, I was mm -hmm. on Nova Sutras yesterday. And then mm -hmm. people get to see it from a safe place because they know they want to hear her or any, I mean, I think between us, there's probably a hundred top people we could bring in on different topics. Uh, or at least I know, I know a lot of people and I'm sure you guys do too. That would be great guests like that. So let me step in and be the, <clears throat> the connecting point for this kind of uh, outreach. Meaning if you reach out to her and she says, yes, I'd be happy to do that. And, and what time works well for you? Oh, how about uh, next Wednesday at 10? Let me know. We'll, we'll do what we can to get it on the calendar, get it, make the schedule and, and make it happen. Let me be the connection point for all these ideas of people we could, we could have present. And, and as you firm up those details, let me know. Mm. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I'm just writing that down. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Derek. So that kind of sparks a question of if we wanted to choose topics to address, maybe we could look at that maybe even for a moment now because yeah, that's, can, can I share a screen with everyone? Um, I, I oh, you got do. Okay, one go that ahead. I had set up for that, but go right ahead. No, oh, no, no. Okay. Okay. I was um, set up too. Great minds think alike. Ah, that's it. Okay. Here it is. Um, so this is just uh, the, the days that we've scheduled out so far. Mm -hmm. um, and then I wanted to put in the schedule of, there's a couple other uh, Nova Sutras events that we certainly don't want to compete with and definitely want to invite people to. Um, and I wanna get the last of those in, but uh, Maybe here on this, I'm just going to put on the side um, topics, mm -hmm. speakers, mm -hmm. and just start making a list. And the other thing that I can do, um, uh, Lionel and Derek, this is already shared with you. Yes. Um, Paul. Uh, Peter. I'm just sending the invitation to you three now um, so that others can mm -hmm. actually type directly in. Um, and I'm going to capture these other couple of things that I have going on. Um,
Okay. Um, so something I was going to share is I last week I said I would lead one of the sessions this upcoming week. Mm -hmm. And I just checked my calendar. I could do that on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Also, yeah, also Peter um, wrote in to the chat here ah. and said, uh, Nova Sutras, connect, nurture, uplift. This is like a new kind of Sunday service and asking for donations and support is common, expected, and good. And asks, what does the word Nova Sutras mean? Okay, um, there are places I can send you for that. Uh, first of all, has, it, has everyone seen and looked over the brochure? No. Um, Cause that, that has some really good open text in that and I can, I can share that. Gosh, um, it's, su it's such let beautiful. Me stop, let too. me stop sharing the screen and pop some of that in. Yeah. Um, so I'm putting that into chat here. Okay. And while Michelle does that, uh, can I share my screen? I had yeah. come at this topic thing from a slightly different angle. <clears throat> and so this is also in the Google Docs section, but I had started to list out some of the topics that I thought might uh, bear some presentation piece on and some people had mentioned oh I'll do that oh I'll do this and so I had listed um, uh, not only right. some requests but uh, so where people had talked about doing it so and again this is just to give us a structure mm -hmm. and less about you know will this person actually do it mm -hmm. um, and more about um, uh, to, to try to begin to set this up and make this part of our regular uh, procedure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can we have, um, I would like a process as far as topics of presentations um, mm -hmm. where instead of you sort of inferring what we might talk about, we just sort of volunteer uh, what right. we're but, able to talk about. And again, I was more like a placeholder just to show some structure right. and People how this might oh, look okay. like. I, that, no, that was not an assignment. You know, that was just, this is what it might look like and how we might pull this together. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Peter, how's, how's that language sit, settling for you? Well, I'm, I'm really finding myself distracted now where I was, where we were on track with something almost, I uh, wish I wouldn't hit send on that chat because um, it was just some notes that I was building for myself uh, more than something I felt really needed. Um, uh, so I find myself not even want to read it right now and getting back to where we were yeah. about what what's real about guests and, and, and having topics and can we do that in an hour and a half and do we want to to consider what are the main topics early? Is it more important now that those of us in this circle share what we're up to, or is it more important to bring in person X who might get us more people or have a little more pizzazz or, or name recognition that might draw some more people? And if so, what topics do we think are most important? And do we do that twice a week where there's kind of a guest that comes in, or do we do that on a separate or those kind of questions. Yeah, cool. Okay, I appreciate all of that. Yeah, those are the kinds of questions that um, I think a, where a lot of the, there's a lot of like energy for like building that sort of structure as well within our group right now. And um, the place, that th the really the unique contribution that I wanna bring to this is saying, Let's just let's let's um, let's get the actual logistics of setting up these events 
distributed into the hands of many people. And then we can actually change and then we can and then and then we can create more structure like that um because like when michelle and i have created events or like okay so michelle has done the work of creating events but michelle and i have met and discussed strategy um uh many 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 times um (laughs) since june last year and um, it is a tremendous amount of work and like like even just like thinking through how to like host one event um, takes longer than the event itself does oh yeah By and <laughs> and just doing the tasks um, of like inviting people to the event probably takes as long or twice as long as the event itself does right um, so the, the, my invitation at least with this conversation today is how, like, who can, who do we have relationships with? Where do we have relationships in the world where we, where, where we can, we can tap people to get involved and come play with us and, um, and help make this happen too. And it's, and it's both what can we do as individuals, but also each of us is like, we're actually like for the most part as a group, everyone who's been here, pretty hardcore activists to begin with. You know, like most of the people that are connected to Nova Sutras, um, you know, just like are, are pretty like, yeah, like, they're, like have a lot of connection and do a lot of stuff. And so the question, and so, yes, there are things that we as activists, as like really engaged activists can do, but the invitation that I'm at least trying to like really put out there is who do we know that also cares about these things, but actually is looking for more things to do to actually move this more, this new paradigm forward. Um, because I don't, yeah, because I, um, we can, we, I, collectively and sort of a little bit expansively, I think we can get all the needs of Nova Sutras met and then we can create more structure um, from that place of, ah, our needs are met. Okay. There's my invitation. Um, yeah, and that's uh, that is, you know, I'm I, I keep doing it myself because I'm so excited about. Oh, it would be so great if we had. It would be so great if we invited the speaker to. But that would need to be set up as a separate event to let people know that that was happening on that specific event, and that means setting it up as a separate event, which is at least like three or four hours of work and probably realistically more like six or seven hours of work to get everything set up, get it publicized, get it included in, in all of the various outlets to try and get people there. Um, and I can't add any more to my stack. I have got to keep saying no to things. Um, I am so far behind on so many things that I had said I was going to do. Um, and, you know, I, I haven't even been able to keep up on follow-up emails on these it's just too much Mm. um so until people can do the setting up of the events those can't happen (laughs) i just i can't i can't make those happen unless somebody else can make it happen right Um, and something that just like that i know from like doing organizational stuff for years is that um, yeah, we can do a bunch more stuff. We just have to get, we just have to get people and systems in place, Yeah, you know, and then it unburdens us and we can do stuff, you know? Yeah. So are these yeah. tasks ready to be, um, taken off your plate by someone else? I say that meaning, um, I don't know what takes hours yeah. about setting up an event. Um, right. so I would have to learn what yeah. you're doing. 
Right. I don't know about your mailing list, about, you know, accessing people who are already connected to Nova Seekers. You know, I have my own list, I think, between Facebook and Twitter, about 2,000 people. But um, Yeah, which is, you know, bigger than anything I have. Uh, um, yeah. So, um, I mean, it's kind of a lead in to, I can show you what the, the things are. So we've already documented some of the stuff, um, what they are. Um, and so I can give an overview of that. Um, and I think that might be the place to start right now. Um, would we all like to go there now? All right. Here we are. We're Let's already do it. here. I've got them open already, um, left over from our conversation yesterday. Um, and here, let me actually, let me just like find the actual spots. Um, is that what organization looks like? <laughs> that you actually write down a bunch of stuff and cross uh, things out when you do them and stuff? <laughs> oh, that's part of the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually the reason that you saw everything crossed out there is because, um, here, I'm going to share my screen because this is funny. Um, uh, everything is crossed out because there were all these things that we had discussed actually doing. And then once I got on the call with Michelle, what I acknowledged is that she's completely overwhelmed and is already like, do, like actually like what we're doing is taking up so much time and so much energy that all of these things would be actually adding more uh, time at like, time and energy required from Michelle specifically if we like even discussed them and even like had a hope of doing them and I realized oh that's totally inappropriate where we're at as a as a group as um as a seed as a body um as an organization is um is actually we need to bring in support for the things that we're currently doing and then that will open up the possibility of doing these other things, um, but right now we have to um, we have to spread spread what we're doing amongst more people um, in order to yeah to open it up. Um, okay, so the goal we set there was yeah let's get to solid ground with the work of putting on the daily discussions and make what we're currently doing sustainable. <laughs> Read that uh, word before. Yes, and what tasks are required to put these on? Um, okay, so some of them are, um, we add events to Zoom, so we set up an event. They go on the Nova Sutras calendar. We add them to the website. Uh, we set up an event on a Eventbrite, and that's the event that actually goes out that people register for the event. So, like, that's the way that people learn about it, right, is that um, is through, um, you set up an event on Eventbrite and then an email goes out and, um, and then people register for the event. And then Eventbrite automates the process of sending up a follow-up email and reminding them that it's happening and things like that. So you don't have to do that manually. Um, adding it to Facebook. Now, mind you, not, not all of these things have to necessarily be done every time. Um, so part of what I think um, we can do, and perhaps Michelle and I can do, is um, this is sort of an idea that I've had actually, so I'm branching out of what's in our notes into a thought. But one of the thoughts I've had is um, there's a little bit of like an all of the above approach that we've sometimes had. And, um, and I also am thinking, okay, what is the smallest unit that we can do? What is, the, what is one thing that we can do that's repeatable and easy um, and um, that will be effective? Anyways, though. Um, and so things to hand off. Um, there's leading discussions. There's co-hosting. There's a co-hosting role in Zoom. Um, there's setting up the events in Eventbrite. Um, there's setting up the events in these other places, and then there's the follow-up emails. There's also, um, uh, and then like, and then we didn't really go fully into this, but outside of the, um, the daily discussions, 
there's also a ton of stuff that happens really to Nova Sutras itself um, to create newsletters and uh, after writing a blog post, actually getting it ready to post um, in, um, in WordPress um, and setting up the, um, the octal meditations that happen. But that is behind, though all of those things are beyond the scope of the daily discussions. And so like, that's not what we're going into here. But those are things that Michelle has been doing for a long time. I'm just gonna stop sharing. And, um, and the daily discussions have been like, um, kind of like a whole new layer, you know, on top of the core Nova Sutras things that Michelle has been doing for, for two or three years. Um, and so if we can just, as a group that cares about these daily discussions, um, like take on the pieces of putting together the daily discussions, then we're gonna be able to kind of like hold it. And then the daily discussions can have a life of their own. So something that I'm just sensing and noticing and feeling as I was showing that with all of you is that, um, that there's more that I can do and perhaps the Michelle, especially that I can do, maybe that Michelle and I can do, but especially that I can do actually to spell out the steps that we can take and make that really explicit and easy to access and easy to talk about. Um, and one of the ideas that I had, and I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you all think, is what if at the end of, um, in that ending part of um, either the beginning or the end of daily discussions, um, we were to say uh, one of or even or a few of the, the needs that we have and the things that we'd like help with and um, and 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 then give people a way uh, who are attending a way of indicating yeah I'm up for that that's something that I may like to do one thing that works well uh, in XR yeah um, I'm in the media and messaging work group um, is a spreadsheet that has you know like um, specific sort of task areas uh, and then places where you can sort of sign up and say yeah i'm i'm up for doing that mm -hmm. um, so if we had a spreadsheet like that you could show it you know um, and as long as it's um, freely shared um, people could immediately respond yeah. Um, so yeah that's easy enough to do mm -hmm. yeah what I'm thinking will need to happen is people will need to say, yeah, I can do that. And then we'll need to show how. And then the tricky part from a logistical standpoint is actually coordinating all the different people who are different, doing the different pieces. And that's the part I actually haven't figured out exactly how it's gonna work yet. I know that we need people to say, I, I can do that piece and that we need to train people on how to do that piece. And the part that hasn't revealed itself to me yet is how we're gonna go about coordinating all of those pieces coming together. Right. The timing the, of The heart, that's it, that's it exactly, is that a lot of them have to happen in a specific sequence. It's like, you can't, yeah. you can't set up uh, the Eventbrite event until the Zoom event is set up, and you can't set up the Facebook event until the Eventbrite event is set up, and you know, there are there is this process to all of it um and even with the even with the follow-up emails it's like well okay first of all i need to to figure out who was on which call get that list together of those emails um find all of the the notes in various places oh, oh and that's that's another thing that i hadn't mentioned about the daily discussions themselves it would be so helpful um, once they're, you know, once they're big enough, if someone can stand aside and say, you know, I'm going to focus on being, um, being the scribe, just taking notes, just making sure that important stuff gets captured. Um, since there are a lot of people who don't know how to put their information into chat. Um, if somebody could just do that directly in chat, 
then it would all be in one place and be so much easier to put together later. Uh, instead, I'm getting emails from four different people that I have to, oh, she wanted me to add this and, and what was that thing about that? And it's just, it's exploded. I just can't manage it all <laughs> and I can't find it all. And, um, it's not working. Um, it's a lot of communication. Yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of different roles and responsibilities too, and it's a lot of different tasks. Yeah. Um, so you know, I, and I know I just it's like it's gonna be a big hurdle just to get things in place so that people can take over some of the things. But it's if this is gonna keep happening and if this is gonna grow in any of these ways, we'd like it to grow. I'm, we're, I'm gonna have to figure it out um because because i'm already way over the top mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. something i know about michelle from these last nine ten whatever <laughs> months is that michelle is actually um a very focused steady workhorse mm -hmm. and gets uh so much done it's kind of staggering um and then but then when i uh, i'll sit and meet with her is when she's like emotional and like whoa what just happened and where have i been yeah um because like working with michelle is pretty incredible because we have all these conversations and it's it's staggering to me how much michelle actually follows up on like actually does. I mean, and Michelle prepares for things and sets up spreadsheets and keeps track of like Nova Sutra's finances to a T and, um, and like, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much you've looked at the newsletters, but I remember the reason that I got involved with, with Michelle is because I saw the first newsletter that Michelle sent out and I went, whoa, that's really good you put a lot of thought and care into crafting that. And it's something that I've just seen again and again is that Michelle has puts a, a lot of care into crafting things and they are good. They're like compelling and clear and, um, and interesting. And they, and they in, like have all of these values um, of a guy in Ubuntu built into them. And so it's like, you know, Mich Michelle, I say this to you and I'm saying this to all of you as well. Um, Michelle, I think that this is work that matters. I think this is work that totally matters. I think that, that, that creating a guy in Ubuntu in the world and, and like making these ideas accessible, um, I want to say to more people, but also to ourselves, you know, just like mm -hmm. just becoming conversant in ideas is part of what shapes an idea. And, um, and these daily discussions are, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting beyond the scope of what I was trying to say. What I was trying to say is just that Michelle is super duper effective and is actually fast and efficient. And, um, and it's pretty amazing actually to have gotten like as far as Michelle has gotten with Nova Sutras. And now we have to get more people involved in order to do a program like the daily discussions. I need Michelle to jump in here. And, and first of all, second, everything you just said, Lionel, I mean, absolutely. Um, but I had a hard stop at 11. And so I'm gonna have to bail, got another yep. meeting, so. Oh. Thanks, Jerry. And wonderful folks, and and there's clearly more to talk about, but um, this has been amazing. I'm so grateful we had this conversation and, and hope we take something out of it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Derek. You're welcome. Take care. Be well. We'll see you this evening. All right. Well, we're, we are actually at, um, yeah, we're, yeah. we're at closing time, and I think we should, um, we should probably, yeah, we should respect all of our time and um and take the pause here i just would yeah. love to know any final thought and then um and then michelle i i think you can um uh, close us out in whatever way you'd like to close us out after final thoughts 
Is anyone burning to say anything? Yeah, one little thing. I just daring to feel into what would ease and flow look like because I'm just getting this hint that our more and more bigger, faster undergirding is beginning to show up. And, and what if we just played with this for another month, right? And did some of the things that we're doing, but just let it percolate in as easy as way as possible. Because one easy way is, hey, here's the times and dates. And you send out one email and you stop. And, right, and whoever's the facilitator decides what they're going to do for that day. And you don't even know what it is. You don't even have to know what it is. Right. Just, just the wonder, but I'm guilty of taking the easy way out way too often. That, in my that was, too. that was my initial picture. And then there was so much energy behind doing more, doing different. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, totally. And Peter, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having a really similar, I actually, I'm in the same place. I really appreciate you hearing, hearing you say that too. Yeah. Is there feedback you would like, Michelle, specific feedback? Uh, not, not that's coming to mind, no. <laughs> yeah. I, would, I just had another hit. What I would love for mm -hmm. tomorrow's meeting is to claim it as this again that this is a, a core staff meeting, if you will, or, or right, some way of framing that we are, we are daring to envision this next round of the spiral and that it starts with Michelle, if you're comfortable, just sharing what, you know, like we talked about doing, what is, what is it that you really, as the, as the founder, what is it that you want most out of this um, so that we're all clear, like Derek was saying too, of, of which way you wanted it to go. And yes, it's going to be organically shooting in different directions, but to, to have a state of the union, um, if you will, from, from you. Mm -hmm. um, I would have thought about that. Michelle, do you want to respond to that first though? Um, Let's crack. I, 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 agree with the idea i don't know if i don't know if i'm going to be ready to do that um by monday I'm, I'm certainly not this evening and i know there was interest honestly i got to the point and i'm still there there's like this mental block i don't remember what it was we said we wanted to do this evening i just remember there was a thing um <laughs> uh so um yeah so i'm not I, I agree that, that another discussion like this needs to happen. I think a little, um, a little sort of foreshadowing of this and deciding when that's going to happen would probably be helpful. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, cool. Okay. Well, I've, I've got similar, really similar thoughts. So uh, yeah, to tomorrow, feels a little too soon to me and I've actually got a, a conflict so I wouldn't be able to be there if it was the one we have scheduled for this Monday but um but I I um I think of doing it I think having another conversation about the state of uh notice Nova Sutras in a week from now on uh, next Sunday could be really cool um and I also want to just let you know, like just share that the biggest thing that I'm thinking is really actionable is um, I can lead the effort to describe, um, I can lead the effort to, to help articulate with Michelle what the, our needs, our very specific needs are for like the, the minimum viable daily discussions and in, in, its, in its simple form, like Peter was speaking to, and we can ask for help doing that um, at each of the daily discussions. And, um, and 
And I think that that's like my biggest takeaway from this. I think we can do that. And I think that that would be really helpful and that that could help us bring in, um, yeah, bring in support. I would just want to add to, um, well, actually a couple of things. One, um, when you uh, ask people to take uh, some of the responsibility for things um, and they're doing it, you know, they're not going off to set up some meeting they thought up. They're going off to, or they're setting up meetings that are under the aegis of Nova Sutra. So in a sense, they're representing it. Yeah. So in a way you are giving someone else a little bit of power, Yeah. Uh, you know, to kind of personify and, and communicate uh, what the foundation of the, of Nova Sutras is. Yeah, Nova Sutras foundations, just like, mm -hmm. like, like Nova Sutras principles is really, or like the principle of Agaya, principle of Ubuntu, um, the concept of Nova Sutras itself could happen in some of these daily discussions, right? Right, I think of all the meditations I've done with Michelle, only once did she mention that Agaya was, uh, she came up with it as Gaia from the Gaia hypothesis and Agape, the, the sort of big love. Um, and uh, that to me was incredibly meaningful. Uh, so little things like that I think are great and helpful. Also, I think we should be sharing the facilitating. I do not think it's a good idea to have one person facilitate day in and day out because you wind up hearing the same voice really a lot. Uh, totally. So I was thinking even this coming week could actually be a different person every day. Right. So that was that was part of why I had wanted to set up this spreadsheet was to see who would take which day. Um, now I know Derek has said that he can step in at any time and you know and I'm uh, uh, well I, I have to I let me be perfectly frank here there's going to come some points here where I'm going to need to take days off and not be in front of this damn computer. Um, oh, no. Yeah, we're going to make you take days off. It's too yeah. much for me. I am, I am not Get out of here. the Hang person up. who should be on the computer all the time. Um, so, uh, you know, and yet I also have this terrible fear of missing out on anything really important. Um, so, uh, yeah, we need to, uh, I need to work on that personally, but, but also I would love it if people would sign on and say, I'm going to handle facilitating this day. Yeah. Um, and then to the extent that it's needed, um, talk to me or talk to, to Derek about what, you know, what are the pieces that should be included in that and what does that entail? And I've tried to sort of script some out for what the, the opening and closing of the container should look like. Mm -hmm. um but then yeah as we said even derek and i can't can't actually stick to that um because it's just it's uh we're on overwhelm um but for anybody who who wants to step in and i think for us um certainly for me trying to help coach somebody else on it will make me much better at it as well. <laughs> um, that's, I'm a, I'm a teacher. I only learn when I have to teach it to somebody else. Right. Um, well, I don't know about everybody else, but um, uh, if there's a day that works between Tuesday and Thursday for Paul and I, um, okay. perhaps Paul could do the intro and when I, when I host, like when I'm, when I'm going to be leading the conversation that day. Oh, great. Okay. How's that sound, Paul? Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah. And I'm happy to, I'm happy to take one of those days too. And maybe, and Derek has already mentioned, you know, he could facilitate what's needed to be facilitated, um, you know, from, from the hosting spot. And right. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, there are, there are actually potentially like four different roles that it would be great if these were on four different people on a given call, especially once we, you know, if we start regularly getting 
more than nine people and we need to do breakout rooms. There's, there's the, the Zoom host who actually handles, you know, um, muting and unmuting people and assigning people to breakout rooms. There's uh, facilitation on the level of kind of when, when the whole group is together, keeping an eye on everybody, um, taking stack, making sure that people who are wanting to say something get noticed and recognized. And that takes a lot of attention. Um, then again, there's, there's that sort of scribe of, of just capturing key points and making sure that uh, things that, that want to get shared later can, can be captured so they can get shared later more specifically than just the recording. Um, uh, and then there's, there's a presenter role that's a little bit different from the facilitator role of, you know, actually doing something like Derek did uh, a few days ago where you've got a 10 or 15 minute block of here's a whole lot of stuff I want to tell you about. This will then frame our discussion. Um, yeah. so those are all, those are all different, different pieces that require a different kind of attention and presence. Um, mm -hmm. and, and all of those really reduce your ability to participate as much as you might want in the discussion itself. Um, so I want to say yes and no to that. I want to say that in a perfect world with more people in a, in a, in a fuller setup, you're absolutely right. And where we are for ease and flow, that we could just leave it on the responsibility of the person to learn how to do chat and copy and paste from chat onto an open page of their own. And don't, that, that we may not be in the position to, to take care of people at 100% at this moment and make, look for those ease and flow moments where two people could do it quite smoothly and just let go of some of the, the higher end possibilities that we could give to people. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that, but I'm also very sensitive to a lot of the people I love very deeply who are contributing so much to the energy and the conversation who do not have that skill set. They just absolutely can barely use the computer and are so lucky to, that we've gotten them to the point where they can get on Zoom. Right. And so here's so just to finish that off, the feeling is, is that that's something that, that we can almost have somebody ask for. And if they're on every session, right, even, okay, so what, check in and what do you have to ask for? And then, you know, whoever that person in says, I don't have the computer skills, would somebody copy and paste these things or just send them to me when you're done if you're already copy and pasting them. And so just someone who's part of the group already gets to be activated to say, yes, mm. Leoma, I'll copy and paste this for you. And I'll send it to you in an email when we're done. That that in encourages that, commute, that uh, step up. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to say that the three roles that you just articulated, Michelle, are really the simplest three things that we can begin talking about at, um, at each of the discussions. You know, when we call out for it, we can be like, we're looking for Zoom hosts, people to facilitate conversations on topics that you find extremely important that are related to Nova Sutras, and scribes to capture the specifics and send it and, um, and prepare the email that's gonna go out afterward. And those are like, those are such like clear, easy things to ask for actually. And it might take a day or two or three to get together some of the other things that we need help with, but we can ask for those things right away. I feel like we can start asking for those uh, as early as this evening. There is an Otter AI app that works with Zoom that's an auto transcription uh, thing. It records the audio, but it transcribes it as it's doing it. Yeah. So we might want to investigate that. Yeah. Another thought that crossed my mind is what if every Sunday morning was State of the Union? Was kind of <laughs> like a company meeting, right? A company yeah. party. Yeah. You know, I, uh, it's, 
it's an idea. I'm not sure the Sunday morning is the right time for it just because I know there are people who will never be able to make a Sunday morning. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, so. but doing, doing another one next week sounds really good. And, um, and I think it yeah. makes sense. Yeah, we can set it out ahead of time. It can be, it's, uh, it, it needs to be its own thing. You know, people can right. come, come knowing that we're going to discuss uh, Nova Sutras in the world and how we're making it happen, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, another I thing that we're going to need to figure out in the next couple of days, um, and I'll, I'll work with Derek on it because, again, this is just um, – the setup that we have now is only here. I can initiate the, the Zoom calls and um, be the Zoom host. Why is that? Because it costs $15 per month per person. Um, and I mean, you know, we could, we can add more if more funding's coming in. Um, and probably what we can do is, is set up one with, um, with some kind of open access um, email that, that then we can just give anyone who wants to do it access uh, to that email account so that they can get logged on and, and do it. But, um, but I just, I didn't do that right when I brought Derek on and um, uh, yeah, it's another, another hour's worth of task to set that up. Eventually I could do that and then, and then I, it'll be easier to make it so that somebody else can be the Zoom host. Um, you yeah. know, that like anybody could be the Zoom host. Yeah, I, I will, I, I will help with that, Michelle. You know, we, before, you know, we had one Zoom account for a 30 person organization. Um, and yeah, we'll, we, we'll be able to set that up. Okay. Like okay. in the way that we talked about, yeah. I'm confident about that. Okay, because I just got lost trying to do it just for the one and eventually figured it out, but. Yeah. For a, a pre-closing, I want to suggest that we uh, release some. <laughs> just to let it out, because we're moving through stuff. I needed that, so I thought maybe somebody else did. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. I did too. Bob, Robert, that's your job from now on as a loose screw is you have to shake us uh, out toward the end. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I I I was pre-shaken, I think. So uh, I'm not really <laughs> pre stirred <laughs> Doesn't doesn't have right. the same <laughs> Okay. I'll do it. SA to me, I guess, but uh. <laughs> fair. Go. Cool. Uh, I'm going to try to talk to Paul. Paul, hello. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you about some of this stuff. I think it would help. It's helpful to me to <clears throat> maybe just go through a few a few basic things because I'm. This still is all new to me, and I don't have any real skill. I'm I'm excited about. I'll be able to talk to some relatives. I have one who has been going through kidney failure for years. And it sounds crazy, but she has, and uh, I can never get up there. So this is kind of exciting. But I don't, I don't know enough. I don't have the wherewithal to do very much right now that I can yeah. cop, copying and pasting. That's not, well, maybe I can do that. I don't know. But I'm, I don't know. I need to think about it and talk about it with somebody. Yeah, cool. So I don't know since you're, you are so overwhelmed that this is possible. But I would like to follow up with either Michelle or Lionel or both, um, sort of one on one. Um, because I'm pretty invested in Nova Sutras and I have this sort of running conversation with Michelle. Totally. About outreach and sort of yeah. marketing of it. Totally. So, you guys did the Amazon for Amazon campaign and then yeah. like the, this greater campaign, it was just like freaking incredible what you guys came up with there. I'm so, I just like was so impressed with what, like that concept you came up with, Paul. And the way you guys put that together, I just thought it was awesome. It's so spot on, you know? It's pretty good. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it's because Michelle is brilliant. Um, yes. So, yes, she is. you know, we can sit and write together. And I, I feel so much smarter mm. when we do, you know, we get right to it. 
uh, <laughs> the desired result of 20. Yeah. Yes, yeah. well, I, I want to have more bandwidth to do more of that stuff. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Um, because yeah. that that to me was like, oh, this is this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Yeah, totally. Um, and I just, yeah, I get so overwhelmed with this stuff. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, we got to take this stuff, more, more stuff off, off of Michelle's plate because because Michelle is a PhD anthropologist. Right. Dr. Merrill really <laughs> does make us all smarter when we talk to her about these things. And we'd really like more of her bandwidth available in order to help us understand it better and in order to take the whole conversation further, you know, forward, further, faster. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's definitely some, you know, worthwhile work to do here. Anyways, um, how should we close out, friends? Oh. I just want to hug all of you. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah this is one of my weepy mornings obviously <laughs> well help is on the way michelle help is already here all right yeah really good. <sighs> Just that moment of silence actually was a more powerful closing than anything else I could have imagined. Well, let's close out because we're, we're way over time now. Uh, but thank you all for coming on. Thank, thank you. For listening and thinking through all this. I just so so great. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. Everybody. All right. Happy bye, day, friends. my friends. Yeah. You too, Peter. Go get them. Have a beautiful day, friends. Mm -hmm. right. I know.